Hey guys, welcome back to Life on Greenwood. Hey, I want to update you on what's been going on with my townhouse. Some of you asked me to keep uh, keep you posted on what's happening at the townhouse after the flood. Well, let me take you in and I'll tell you what's been going on at the townhouse and some things that have been going on in, in outside the townhouse as well. So if you're up for it, let's, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to Life on Greenwood. Please hit the subscribe button on your way in. Um, for my returning subscribers, thank you so, so much. You guys asked me to, uh, just to keep you updated on what's going on with the uh, with my townhouse after that flooding that I explained to you um, that the townhouse association was doing nothing to help me. Well, the condo association, which we uh, contract with, with the townhome association contracts with the, the condo association to uh, take care of the landscaping and what have you. Well, they've come out and they've agreed to remove some of the trees that are on the side of my townhouse, which have been, I mean, growing like crazy. Um, they grew so big. And I think that's part of the problem. The trees um, were, the leaves were blocking the drainage. I think that's just part of the problem. But I've been wanting to get rid of those trees for the longest time. But the thing is, you have to establish in these associations, you have to establish what's yours, what's uh, owned by the um, the HOA and, you know, what have you, what's common ground and what's what's your, um, the common area and what's your area. So these trees were, I didn't plant them, but apparently um, they are uh, in some respects, um, my trees, but I'm not responsible for maintaining them. Anyway, long story short, one's going to be cut down this big one that's been hanging over my yard and really, really wreaking havoc on the grass back there because the grass is, is always wet, never grows anymore. And the, the deck, I had to replace the deck almost completely because of the, you know, the pollen and stuff that kind of p piles on uh, as a result of those trees. So one tree is coming down and two are being um, pruned and cut back. So that's great. Um, so that's a little progress. Um, and I wanted to update you on the deck. Uh, as I mentioned, we had to, we came down originally just to replace the deck or replace some boards on the deck. And it looks like, turns out we had to almost replace the entire deck and i'll insert some pictures here um hubby actually is doing it for me thank god um that i had free labor so he replaced uh the deck for me we still have to put the five some final screws we ran out of screws meanwhile um while all that was happening i was doing i was working on the sides of each deck i think it was like three feet three feet by ten feet of space that I was working on on both sides of the of the deck and I put down some um, weed block and uh, that black border you know the black plastic or rubber border that you put uh, around your weed um, around your garden to keep this keep everything in and um, my plan was to either put in mulch or stones uh, I think I'm gonna go with with stones. Um, what happened before, I think when I first moved there, there were some stones there, but I don't think there was any weed block. And as a result, weeds came up through those stones. Um, but I want to do this right. I'm going to put the, uh, the weed block down, then put the border around it and put in some of those little pebbles. Uh, I thought about mulch, but I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the uh, with the stones. I think that's a, a lot prettier, but we'll see. But anyway, I just wanted to keep you updated on what's going on at the townhouse. We're doing a little bit at a time um, to get this uh, get the backyard together with these trees. Now that the trees are coming down, maybe we'll get some grass to grow there. I may have to take the the remaining grass. <laughs> it's not even grass; just a lot of mud spots. So I got to tell you, it's just a lot of mud spots there. Um, I may have to dig all of that up and then put down sod. So 
we'll see about that. And it's not a, it's not a big space. I mean, this is a townhouse, so it's not like a huge space that I'm going to be working with if I have to put side back there because I'm already putting on both sides. There's a deck. The deck is what? 10 by 10 by 12, maybe 10 by 12. And then on both sides of that, I'm, I have the weed block and I'm going to put the stones or, or mulch there. So I have a little area that's left that's grass, which I guess we'll leave as grass, but it really needs some work. Hopefully with those trees gone, um, maybe grass will grow back there now so we don't have the trees blocking everything but anyway i will keep you posted i'll be sure to include some pictures in here of of the deck and what i did on both sides of the deck and it's coming along coming along a little bit at a time so um thank you guys for checking in thank you all who asked you know how things were going at the townhouse because you know, I know you. some of you have experienced working with um, HOAs too, and you shared your experiences. Um, some of you have shared that you've had just some, just some regular homeowners um, problems with flooding and what have you. So to all you out there, um, homeowners, and who are in the struggle, I hear you. Um, Guys, go over and check out my blog at lifeongreenwood.com because I'll put things on there that I don't put on YouTube. And um, if you're new here, hello. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And for my returning friends, thank you so, so much. Guys, thank you. I appreciate you so much. Um, I think that's about it. If anything comes up again as this, as I'm working on this townhouse, I will, I'll jump back on and I'll clue you all in. So thanks so much and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.